Good morning! Outfit check. Outfit check. One, two, one, two. So today we are doing what I eat in a day and these are all going to be 15... 20-ish minute meals, but they're all gonna be under 20 minutes. Obviously that depends on how fast you prep. These are the perfect meals if you are short on time, like I usually am all the time. I'm a busy girl, okay? A lot of these are quick meals that require minimal cleanup. And also I am working out today, so we're gonna be eating quite a bit today, okay? Let's start with breakfast. So for today's breakfast, we are making baked ham, egg, and cheese cups. So you're just gonna need like a muffin tray. The awesome thing about this recipe is that it's like five, six minutes of prep, and then you stick them in the oven and you let them bake on their own for 15 minutes. So even though it's a 15 minutes cooking time, during that time, you can go about your morning, getting ready, doing your morning routines. So you don't have to be here like actually cooking. So first we're gonna preheat our oven to 400 degrees. That's in Fahrenheit. And then we are gonna spray our little muffin tin with cooking spray. So we're gonna prepare our tray. So you basically get a piece of ham and you stick it in here to make like a little ham cup. And we do that for each one. So I'm actually gonna make five today because Johnny will have three and I will have two. I am personally never that hungry in the mornings. As a matter of fact, most mornings I actually skip breakfast. But today, I know I gotta fuel up because uh, it's a workout day. So yeah, obviously you adjust your serving size depending on how much you wanna eat. So now we go in with the cheddar. There are two ways to do this. You can either crack a whole egg on this or you can whisk your eggs together, like beat them and then pour the mixture in there. I like to do the whole egg. So I like the separation of my egg yolks and egg whites. Hey bestie, this is also a reminder to drink your water. I've got my big water bottle here. I squeezed some lemon and some mint. Doesn't matter how nutritious or how good you eat. If you are dehydrated, your body will suffer, your performance will suffer, you will feel it, your skin will suffer. So go get your big water bottle, fill it up. Let's drink our water. Whoa, that's bubbly. Look at that. We got, oh no, it's breaking. We got one cup. Oh my gosh. Ah, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Oh, yay. Look, we got it. And then I actually cut up some green onions to like garnish. Oh, it's not staying. Okay. You can use any kind of herb for this. It doesn't have to be green onion. You could do dill. You could do parsley. Good enough. <laughs> and here our finished product. We've got our beautiful little ham, egg, and cheese cups. I think it's too hot for me to try right now. Oh. That was great, babe. Look at all that cheese. Melty cheese. All right, let's try this. Mmm. How is it? <laughs> How is it? Really good. Amazing. I and mean, that's a breakfast. Mmm. <laughs> all right, enough. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is lunch time. So let's talk about lunch. Today we are doing a noodle stir fry for lunch. It's one of my favorite kind of recipes because you can literally edit this recipe to be whatever you want. I didn't really have any snacks after breakfast. I'm not usually a huge snacker. All I really have as a snack usually is a post like workout protein snack or protein shake. So yeah, I just like focus on getting bigger meals. All right, so for today's recipe, here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some kind of noodles. I'm using these lo mein noodles. You're gonna need a protein. So this is where you can change it up and make it whatever you want. I'm using ground turkey. I usually use ground pork, but you can use whichever one you want. It could be ground beef, ground pork, ground turkey. If you are vegetarian, you can use mushrooms. That's a great option. Or you could just make a veggie stir fry. So then for our veggies, you can also do whatever you want here. I am today using red pepper, carrots, green onion, and scallions. Just keeping it simple. Oh, and garlic, of course. We put garlic in everything. You can also add broccoli, bok choy, a cabbage, literally whatever you want. I usually do add broccoli, but I had run out. For the oils, I like to cook it in sesame oil because sesame oil has like a different taste than the usual olive oil we use. It's better for stir fries. And we have got soy sauce. Let me tell you a story about the soy sauce, okay? First time I made this recipe, I made the mistake of using regular sodium soy sauce. Girl, 
That dish was salty. salty. So trust me when I tell you. Less sodium soy sauce, okay? This is optional, you don't have to do this, but I like to finish it off with some teriyaki sauce because this is just a little bit thicker than the soy sauce. So I do kind of like half and half instead of just soy sauce, but you can also just use soy sauce. I think that's pretty much it. So here we've got three things happening at the same time. We've got the water boiling for the noodles. We've got this pan heating up with olive oil. I'm using olive oil for the turkey. We've got this pan heating up with the sesame oil. This is gonna be for the veggies and we're later gonna transfer the turkey and the noodles into this pan. Step one, we basically cook the ground turkey by itself in a skillet. While the turkey is cooking, we prep our veggies. So we chop up our red pepper, our scallions, our garlic, everything that we need. Once the turkey is done cooking, we can throw the red pepper and the white parts of the scallions into the pan. At the same time, we are gonna put our noodles to boil because the noodles only take a few minutes, like three to four minutes to be ready. Then once you feel like your veggies have softened up, we can go in with the sauce, okay? Add some soy sauce, and I like to add a little bit of brown sugar to sweeten it up a bit. Then we're gonna add everything back into the pan. So add the turkey back, noodles back, and you are just gonna add the teriyaki sauce to taste. I like to not really salt anything while I make this because even though the soy sauce is less sodium, it is still very salty. So you can always salt after, but you cannot take salt away. That is something that I have learned. This is made super fast, super simple, and it looks like a fancy ass plate like it looks so good then i like to top it off with green scallions and sesame seeds and here is our beautiful lunch so yummy so delicious so fast and beautiful i mean look at it oh it's bread out here it's bread okay so it is time for a booty workout my favorite time of day to work out is a few hours after lunch i feel like i get the most energy two to three hours after eating like a pretty carb heavy meal and we had the noodles for lunch so i'm ready to use up all that energy to grow this booty okay first i need my amino and energy because i am feeling like that afternoon slump like where i just like need to take a nap but i want to power through it and we're gonna do a workout together my bcs are still sold out women's best if you are listening to this please restock my bcas that's that but we are going to be having the mojito amino and energy that also has amino acids which is great for your muscles and for your overall health and it has 100 milligrams of caffeine for energy if you are not that caffeine sensitive this will still be good for you so let's make some mojito and crush our workout so this is one serving nine grams of the powder it only has 28.5 calories per serving and it tastes so good here's the caffeine content so you can actually double up if you are not that sensitive to caffeine this is like a strong double espresso this is like one cup of coffee it's up to you and trust me you gotta try plus my face is on this like don't you want this in your cupboard looking out at you reminding you to do your vacuums and your workout hello So good! Woo! Finish my workout, booty's looking good. Good. Usually after my booty workout, I do have a protein shake, my pina colada protein, but dinner is kind of like soon, and I feel like if I have my protein shake, I'm gonna be too full. So instead, I'm having these little things. This is the new smart food line from Women's Best that just dropped. Look, listen, listen. If you get one thing from this video, it's that you need this. These are so freaking good. It's a protein snack slash dessert. It's perfect post-workout, but it also tastes like a dessert. Oh my god. So it has nice. 9.6 grams of protein and 255 calories. Look at that. Look at that deliciousness. <gasps> mm. Mm. You want some? No, it's not for you. It's for me only. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. So I'm going to finish off my little box and then we're going to make dinner together. It is dinner time and I'm making what? Well, I'm not making really. We are making. Jonathan is doing most of the work. We are making salmon. So the way I love to make salmon, if you haven't seen my other What I Eat On A Day videos, <laughs> Girl. But the way I love to make salmon with the skin on, I realized recently that not a lot of people eat the salmon with the skin, like, girl. The skin is amazing and we pan fry it so that the skin comes out super duper crispy. 
Oh my god, this is how I like to eat salmon. I don't really love it baked. So the benefits of eating salmon and getting all those nutrients outweigh like the cons of frying it. So what you should do is just eat it the way that you enjoy it so that you're more likely to eat more nutritious food. Let's get into it. Okay, so something that Johnny already did is he took the scales off the salmon and we're heating up a nice amount of oil here so that it's nice and crispy. So on the side of the salmon, I'm making a cilantro lime avocado rice. Let me show you my hack for rice. Ready rice! I didn't really know that this was a thing. We basically microwave it and the rice is ready. So this ready rice already comes with two servings and we are gonna quarter up some lime for the lime juice. We're gonna chop up cilantro and usually I do use real avocados and I mash them but we didn't have any ready avocados so I'm just gonna use like a tablespoon or two of the guacamole and it's gonna be so yummy. All we really season the salmon with is salt and we always put it skin side first so you have to make sure the oil is hot enough so it sizzles when you put it down and you're basically going to cook it 80 percent of the way with the skin side down that's how you get that nice crispy skin johnny likes to push it down with the spatula oh <laughs> good time I'm also gonna cut up some cherry, grape, whatever, mini tomatoes to have on the side, some olive oil. All right, so now we're sauteing the other side and this is when you know that it's pretty much ready to flip when the borders start getting white. That looks so good. See the other side, wow, literally perfection. And this is dinner. I'm so excited to eat, like, oh my God. Loki. Good night. <laughs> that is it for today's video hopefully you enjoyed it so usually i actually end the day with something sweet like a dessert but today i was not really craving that like i was so fulfilled but it's all good because we listen to our bodies around here if you like this video please please let me know leave me a comment down below letting me know if you tried one of these recipes which one you like the most it's time to wind down do my skincare routine go to bed so i can continue working my booty off right in that chair tomorrow Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.